Good morning everyone, welcome to one more tutorial on how to build ChatGPT using React and Tailwind. In this video we are going to basically set up our API, uh, OpenAI API key and use it uh, to do our first requests uh, to the machine learning, basically to the model. So basically to have your OpenAI API you just need to go to the OpenAI website, to the developers and you will be able to easily generate an API key. So you just uh, need to come here, create a new secret key, and then you'll have the, the key that you really need to save it. Uh, you can delete it once you want it. I already generated mine, uh, so it's here. I will later uh, disable it, but let's start. Just to uh, for a quick uh, status point on our series. series basically, we already have um, our input ready for the prompt. Uh, that is actually getting read, uh, read there. I can now take our uh, uh, this because we don't need it to prove that it's already appearing there. And if we cl click get answer, it will run this and will come back with an object using Axios. For this video, we are going to basically uh, use the OpenAI. So we will first install the packages necessary. And once this is done, we will basically import configuration and open AI API from OpenAI. I will start the server so we can be updated with any bug or any mistyping that I may might have inserted. I'll push this here as we might need the console later. <clears throat> or maybe not as it's being a bit slow to do things. So uh, to do this, uh, we already imported the configuration. We will first need to create the variables necessary to handle and uh, connect with the OpenAI. So we are basically creating our configuration variable and this will be a new configuration that awaits an open uh, no, an API key which is this value here. Once this is ready we can create our open AI variable that will come from the new OpenAI with the value configuration. Uh, and uh, as I said before, we were using this, uh, re uh, this request from the Axios, but we will now create a new function uh, that will be a sync named get answer. It will also await uh, a new prompt and inside we will have a try catch statement. And what are we going to do in this try catch statement? Basically, we will create our completion constant. We are going to use a completion from the model. There are plenty of them, but this for the first uh, part of the tutorial will be enough, uh, you will see. We are going to use the model, the GPT-3, so the text da Vinci 003. Our prompt will will come this is miss prompt will come in our function and we will define max tokens as 1000 once we have the our answer we will be able to log it uh, in order to see what actually comes in it and of course set our answer 
to that same variable. In the error, we can simply for now just print the error that was given. To finalize, we just need to come here and change the, the format of the onClick. It now expects our new function that sends uh, as a parameter variable our prompt, our variable prompt. We can uh, now come here and basically ask any question that we could ask to ChatGPT. Let's say, for example, uh, what is the size of the pyramids in Egypt? And hopefully it is not giving it any error that I believe. Okay, it's not. Uh, basically, uh, it says the size of the pyramid in Egypt varies significantly. Uh, the uh, par uh, primary pyramid of Giza, it basically gives the answer as it was. You can also come here and say how much is 1 plus 1. We click get answer. 1 plus 1 is equal to, to 2, a simple such a GPT answer. And uh, for this tutorial, that's everything. Uh, in, the in the next tutorial, we are going to basically organize our projects uh, for later to start building all the CSS required and do a sim uh, some simple adjustments to our uh, code. We can actually start by eliminating this function that we are no longer using it. Uh, and yes, and making as well this stored in a more proper way. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Any doubts that you might have, please answer in the uh, in the comments, and please give any uh, subscription that you might uh, you can give. Uh, it will make us very happy. Thank you very much, and we'll see us again uh, in the future. Bye.